What's going on everybody? Steve Pulaski back with another video review, this time of Martin Scorsese's Silence. This film has been in production for about 30 years now. Martin Scorsese has considered this like a passion project of his that he's been trying to get made. I remember when I, when I heard Silence was going to come out back in like 2014, and at that point it hadn't even been shot yet. But now it's here, it's finally in theaters, and does it live up to all the hype and the anticipation? The film concerns uh, two Jesuit priests, played by Andrew Garfield and Adam Driver. Uh, they're two priests that are traveling to uh, Japan right now uh, in the 17th century. And the issue with Japan is that Japan is trying to do away with Western culture, particularly religion. Uh, they've instituted a no Christianity, no Catholicism um, practice, anything anything that's like um, associated with God or the Bible or Christ, anything of that nature is strictly forbidden. So they, uh, the two priests, travel in secrecy to try and uh, propagate Catholicism, and then eventually they break off in their separate ways, and we largely follow uh, Andrew Garfield's character as he. Um, he, he tries to you know he tries to grapple with uh, an idea or a concept that I think a lot of uh, people, a lot of uh, religious people, particularly Christians, try to grapple with is if there is a God, why is there so much suffering and why is it why is he silent in the times of the greatest need? Uh, and that's kind of what this film concerns. And uh, I, I will say for in for Scorsese right now too. Uh, you don't make a film, even me, I've never made a full-length feature, but I can kind of infer this. You don't work on something for 30 years and have it not mean something personal to you. And Scorsese, you know, big Catholic, big Catholic figure, um, makes a lot of movies that revolve around the central theme of guilt and religious guilt, if that, you know, Goodfellas and such. But um, his thesis here is very compelling. It's basically the, uh, explaining the idea like, um, how does one remain God-fearing in a world that is godless or does it, or a world that pays to be godless? And that's an interesting point, and I think that that's carried through silence all throughout uh, the two-and-a-half-hour runtime of the film, too, which I find very, uh, you, know, you know, it gets a little flabby in the middle. There's a you know, couple parts in the midsection where it gets kind of bloated and it drags a little bit. But, I mean, this is a very elegantly made film. It's uh, it's Scorsese channeling and finding a balance between, like, Akira Kurosawa and Ingmar Bergman. And that's another thing I was going to note, too, is that his directorial style here, it's not like it's totally different, but it's definitely a lot more mannered than I've seen it in a while. And it's definitely a lot more, um, you know, like a tone poem, if I can even say that, if that's even an accurate summation. Um, but it's a very well acted film. Liam Neeson's in it too. Liam Neeson's got a fairly small role, but a significant role uh, in the film. He plays the the father of um, like the the father uh, the brother the father in Christ of um, both Adam Driver and uh, Andrew Garfield's character. He shows up late in the game, and he does a really good performance as well. Uh, overall, it's, it's, it's not a movie to lift your spirits religiously or positively. It's a very somber movie. Be prepared for there's a lot of graphic depictions of abuse and torment and neglect and religious persecution. It's an ugly, a frequently ugly movie despite how nice it looks. And I think overall it's not perfect. I don't think it's great. I think it's kind of too a little bit too bloated and sometimes a little bit too... Uh, repetitive to be perfect but overall it's a very fine movie definitely worth checking out I'm giving Silence a 3 out of 4 stars or a B on uh, Influx Magazine's great I'm Steve Pulaski thank you guys for watching for subscribing keep in mind to read my written review on Influx Magazine or the link below this video and I will see you guys on the next video review bye